We really feel that we have an investment in our employees' health and wellness. And obviously, one of the things that uh, promotes better health is folks that are non-smoking. We also feel that we have um, an obligation to provide a smoke-free workplace for our non-smokers, because as we know, secondhand smoke is almost as dangerous as smoking um, itself. So because of those reasons, we really felt that uh, it was in our employees' best interest and the company's best interest to provide a, a tobacco-free work, work environment. Our policy for the smoke-free campus was established uh, approximately four and a half years ago, so in 2009. We did a couple things. One is we obviously started with the uh, tobacco-free environments, really making sure that our office locations were tobacco-free, and that includes the offices and the grounds. And then second, a couple years later, we instituted a uh, policy under our health and wellness plans where our smokers were actually charged a surcharge uh, if they were tobacco users. We gave our employees a year's notice that we were going to put the surcharge in place. Uh, and we also did some um, things to help them out. So for example, if they wanted to enter a smoking cessation program, um, whether that would be uh, through just a, a behavioral program or prescription medications or over-the-counter medications, any of those things we agreed to pay for and so it was no charge for those employees to quit smoking. I think one of the things that was really uh, important for us was getting an announcement out there early that we were going to make these changes to our policies. It gave people time to adapt. Uh, we have seen um, multiple people take advantage of these programs um, and we have uh, seen a lot of success stories with really kicking that tobacco habit, which is great. Uh, I would say this is something that every company should be considering. Uh, giving your employees uh, the opportunity to uh, take advantage of programs where they can actually uh, stop smoking, it puts the employees in a better position from a wellness perspective, uh, it really drives engagement, and it really takes advantage of uh, creating a really healthy work environment for the other folks that work for you that don't smoke. So I would encourage all employers to take this journey that we've taken.